because I have a pattern to show you that will literally change your life. And what does this pattern mean for price in the short term? The answer might surprise you. And with over $65 million in shorts liquidated on Bitcoin alone in just a single day, February 15th, the highest in well over a month, the baby bulls have completely gobbled up the baby bears. But just how much room left do the moon boys have in their bellies? Right now, the Bitcoin price has definitively and ultimately broken to its highest levels of the entire year of 2023 so far. And this is truly an accomplishment as we have touched on 25,000 completely and utterly reaching and breaching the price target of this descending broadening wedge that I talked about that I talked about when we were at 22,000 US dollars. This is very big, but in fact, I have a much bigger, much more insane pattern that everybody's going to be talking about within just the next day uh, here. And it is this, it is the crypto market cap, not Bitcoin, it's the entire space is forming a ginormous descending broadening wedge exactly like the one we were talking about here before we broke out just a couple days ago but this pattern is only about two weeks long right this pattern is literally about exactly a two week long pattern and it had a pretty nice breakout up about 14 percent or about three thousand dollars for bitcoin so it's a fairly small pattern only half of a month but a $3,000 bust is obviously pretty exciting, right? It's pretty good. Not to mention why, and we'll get into that in a second, why that's so big. But guys, here we have, this isn't a two-week pattern, okay? This is roughly a year and a half long pattern, where as we've been talking about, Bitcoin has on its, its chart, Bitcoin specifically, has a macro falling wedge pattern. The entire cryptocurrency market cap chart has a pretty much the biggest in history descending Brunning wedge and the price objective of this breakout if we would complete this is absolutely insane and in fact this is so big because at this very second as you can see right now we're testing this uh, upper descending level of resistance we initially began forming this all the way back in november of 2021 Okay, before the massive bear market really, I mean, this is this pattern is the entirety of the bear market. Okay, you can see multiple touches, three on each side here, with our most uh, recent one being right here, where we are right at this very second. Okay, you can see all of these completely uh, body touches. Okay, not counting wicks, we're looking at the bodies here. And uh, you can see the price objective of this is actually well over four trillion US dollars for the cryptocurrency market. Now, guys, what's more exciting about this is that, well, first of all, I have some reservations about the stock market, which I want to talk about in a second. But what's more exciting about this is that, as I've been saying, I don't think we're about to enter new all time highs pretty much anytime soon. I don't think we're really going to all time highs uh, very soon. But there's something very telling about this chart. But another thing I want to highlight about this chart is that when we enter a new bull market, I expect that $4 trillion in the entire crypto space will literally be the beginning of the bull market. Okay. So if you look at this and you think, okay, cool, this is a, another, this is the, the bull market breakout. No, that's not what I'm saying at all. Um, in fact, if you think that the, the height of the next bull market will only be $4 trillion, I mean, for pizza's sake. Two bull markets ago, we went from about a $10 billion market cap to a trillion dollar market cap, okay? And then from a trillion, actually not even, sorry, we actually went to about 735 billion. And then from that high of that bull market, we went up to about a three trillion. So obviously, yes, there's diminishing returns there, but let's say we only 2X, okay? Let's say we only 2X, that would put us, again, obviously at about a six trillion if we 2X from the previous high there. And again, that's significantly above where this um, this breakout would be. Now, again, as this, this chart shows, it is not just straight up. I just measured it here as the price objective, this line here. But realistically, the price action, obviously, you know it's not going to go straight up. That's impossible. It would it would be sideways. And what does that mean? Well, you know, let's say we broke out here. It, it would more, more than not look like something like this. So it would take time and there would be dumps along the way as well. But pretty much this is a uh, this is obviously a long-term pattern whereas this pattern we were talking about was only two weeks long so obviously the breakout came a little quicker 
this is about it's it's nearing a year and a half so the breakout's going to take some time this is a much bigger macro look right here but as well what i want to highlight is this this is back in 2015 you can see here this chart and um as we were breaking what concretely we needed to do before ultimately breaking out was we had to bust above a double top now again history does not repeat it sometimes rhymes it absolutely does not repeat but having a double top type scenario um in this exact position that Bitcoin's bear market ended in uh, eight years ago is pretty reminiscent of, of what we're seeing right now. Um, and again, I, I do wanna highlight this. In the previous bear market, after we had this second top, we basically went and retested even the lows. I am not making a prediction on if that is going to happen, but I wanna, cause this, this should be like pretty eye-opening to you. If that would happen, if Bitcoin does again, again, get rejected and go below 20K, let's say it revisits 17, 18, $16,000 before entering a bull market. Um, I don't even know if there would be a single person on the planet that wouldn't become as bearish as they could possibly be in terms of like, okay, maybe we will set a new low. Um, that again, would be a scenario that that's what happened in 2015. So it's not, uh, it's not unheard of. I personally don't think that will happen, but you need to have, you need to be thinking about this kind of thing. If you want to have any, any level of like emotional control and emotional stability when looking in these markets, because again, these markets are pure psychology. They're pure emotion. They're pure human psychology. So, um, if, if you can have even one little tool to make yourself a little more accustomed to these ideas, then it's invaluable. It's, it's so worth uh, taking a look at. Um, so again, you see that, you know, is, are we about to see a similar situation? There are again, other similarities where I personally think 2019 is more similar to like what we're seeing. But before we continue with those charts as well, over $65 million of liquidations in just a single day, 80 million in just the last two days on Bitcoin alone, you can see these liquidations. Uh, obviously that has helped push this price further and further. Um, but remember what happened more recently, a lot of people were anticipating because we had this pump, well, now it's time to liquidate uh, longs, but that didn't happen. Why didn't that happen? Because again, it's very likely that the path to maximum pain is to the upside. People still believe that there is a chance that we're going to 10K and below. And uh, I, I think that a lot of people, again, still think maybe this is a gigantic bull trap. Maybe it is. But whatever is going to be more painful is going to be the way that this market pushes. And I still think after a, a massive drawdown over the, the entire year of 2022, maximum pain at this point is going to be to the upside. But again, I do personally think we will see a dump. Um, potentially, as I've been saying, around that $30,000 level, but we're not there. So uh, again, we do see, as you can see on this chart, uh, after spending quite a few days around the $22,000, $23,000 level, new all-time high for Bitcoin, and it absolutely is. Uh, right now, we're actually, like the price action is right on this death cross. So we've broken to 25,000. We're getting resistance there. Absolutely is expected. I think everyone expects that. Um, but Bitcoin in the short term looks a little bit stronger. One concern I do have in the short term, however, is the stock market potentially rolling over. We talked about this yesterday. We talked about how significant this is. I do think we're gonna get a retest of this trend line, okay? So it's not all lollipops and rainbows. It's, it's absolutely not. And I do think uh, it's hard to predict exactly if it'll be two or three days or five, six days. 10 or 11 days. The point is, when we start getting these signals, I think it is likely that the stock market will start rolling over a little bit, uh, potentially break below this 21 day moving average. And at that point, um, again, we've seen Bitcoin kind of pump as the stock market trading sideways. So that's pretty, I mean, that's good. That's very good. Bitcoin itself on its, on its own, in its own vacuum looks very bullish. But again, we can't only look at it, Bitcoin on its own. Um, so again, the stock market, I am very curious if we get a back test here, let's say we do. And that takes up the first half of March even. And, um, then by April, maybe we're at 4,300, maybe we're at 4,400, right? Maybe this thing starts really popping off. That's a real scenario. And that's a bullish scenario in the very short term though. It doesn't seem very bullish in the very short term. People would get very upset. Um, but also the DXY again, guys, not looking amazing here. Uh, I, the DXY. If you're bullish on Bitcoin, you don't want the DXY to start pumping. It doesn't have much strength. I do personally think that it's very likely though we finally see the DXY get some strength because it's been so pitiful. It has been so weak. And um, um, 
I think, you, you know, the longer things pump, the more you want to be cautious. And I think that that's a, a good stance to take right now. This is absolutely time-sensitive alerts. Take advantage of absolutely massive bonuses with Bybit, BitGet, and Femex below. Specifically on Bybit and BitGet, uh, zero trading fees when it comes to spot, and also the copy trading feature on both. Absolutely gigantic. And massive deposit and welcome bonuses as well. Without any further ado, that's it for me.